The U.S. Navy sent USS McCampbell in Sea of Japan to challenge Russia's maritime claims. This comes at a time when U.S. and Russia are embroiled in heated exchange regarding Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty INF Treaty. To know more, please check the video on the above card. The operation is similar to those conducted by U.S. and South China Sea. U.S. Pacific Fleet spokesperson, U.S. Navy Lieutenant Rachel McMahr told CNN, the USS McCampbell sailed in the vicinity of Peter the Great Bay to challenge Russia's excessive maritime claims and uphold the rights, freedoms and lawful uses of the sea enjoyed by the United States and other nations. Pacific Fleet stated that the freedom of navigation operation was not about any one country, nor are they about current events. These operations demonstrate the United States will fly, sail and operate wherever international law allows. This is true in the Sea of Japan as it is in other places around the globe. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia should fear USS McCampbell. Let's get started. USS McCampbell DDG-85 is an Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer in the United States Navy. She was named in honor of naval aviator Captain David S. McCampbell, a Medal of Honor and Navy Cross recipient who was the Navy's leading ace in World War II. USS McCampbell is the 35th destroyer of her class. Arleigh Burke-class warships were designed as multi-mission destroyers capable of anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, and anti-surface warfare ASUW. It was built by Bath Ironworks and was commissioned on the 17th of August, 2002. USS McCampbell being an Arleigh Burke class destroyer is among the largest destroyers built in the United States. It has an overall length of 509 feet, that's 155 meters, and displacement of about 9,200 tons. USS McCampbell is powered by four General Electric LM2530 gas turbines, producing 100,000 horsepower, that's 75 megawatts, that drive two shafts. It has a speed of 30 plus knots or 55 plus kilometers per hour and a range of 4,400 nautical miles or 8,100 kilometers. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers DDGs, is the United States Navy's first class of destroyers built around the Aegis combat system. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is a United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency program developed to provide missile defense against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re entry. It enables USS McCampbell to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the ANSPY 1 radar and standard missile technologies. Aegis BMD equipped vessels can transmit their target detection information to other systems and if needed engage potential threats using either the SM2 or SM3 missile. SM3 missile having range of 2500 kilometers and speed of Mach 10.2 will be particularly effective. The heart of the Aegis systems on board the USS McCampbell is the ANSPY-1 radar. It's an advanced automatic detect and track multifunctional phased array radar. The high powered 4 megawatt radar is able to perform search, track and missile guidance functions simultaneously with a capability of over 100 targets. A conventional mechanically rotating radar sees a target when the radar beam strikes that target once during each 360 degree rotation of the antenna. A separate tracking radar is then required to engage each target. By contrast, the computer-controlled ANSPY-1A phased array radar of the Aegis system brings these functions together within one system. The phased array can concentrate energy where it's needed. The operator can boost the range and resolution in a particular direction without blinding the ship to threats from another side. The four fixed arrays of SPY send out beams of electromagnetic energy in all directions simultaneously, continuously providing a search and tracking capability for hundreds of targets at the same time.
USS McCampbell is very well equipped and is designed to be a multi weapons platform. It has a total of 96 cell Mark 41 vertical launch system, divided into two blocks of 32 and 64 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on mission 1. BMG 109 Tomahawk cruise missile for land attack, 2. RIM 66 Standard Missile 2 SM2 Surface to Air Missile for Air Defense. 3. RIM 161 Standard Missile 3 SM3 for Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense. It also has two Mark 141 Harpoon Missile Launcher for anti ship roll. Two Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes are present, launching Mark 46 or Mark 50 torpedoes. Two MH 60R Seahawk Lamps 3 helicopters are also present for anti submarine warfare. Other than these, it's equipped with long range naval gun and multiple close in weapon system. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.